What's happening everybody? And welcome to the Royal Kennels YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys um, a description on how I maintain the ears after we got this litter's ears cropped, all right? So before we get started, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button and make sure y'all hit the bell icon so you can be re so you can remain updated with all our future uploads all right so this video this video y'all we had a litter of nine puppies eight of them was requested by the buyer to get their ears cropped all right so before y'all start flipping out and stuff like y'all did on the last ear cropping video on this one the ears are requested to be cropped. Down here in, at this um, particular two puppies, see those puppies, they weren't sold yet. One was sold, but the, the buyer backed out on it, so it became back available. The black and white one just got sold, and he was requested to have his ears cropped. Um, if the, the one at the bottom, if it's sold, if the run is sold, and the buyer doesn't want his ears cropped, then it would not get his ears cropped. So if you have something personal just against the whole ear cropping thing, this really isn't the video to express your passion of hate for the whole cropping thing. You know what I mean? So you know how I rock. But I'm gonna give everybody an update on their puppy. And we got them separated, y'all, because once they're cropped, they fight, they play around, they claw each other's ears, they pop the stitching, and it's very easy for the puppy to get his ears infected by walking around on the ground and then somebody clawing, or its, it's sibling clawing at its open wound and the puppy's ears were getting infected. So what I decided to do is, I uh, got these cages together, all the puppies that got their ears done, I have them in their cage. They don't stay in there all day. I feed them outside of it. But for the night, when they're kind of like idle, I put them in their kennel, and they sleep in the kennel. When it's time to play, or when we bring them outside to run around the yard, we let them run around the yard, and I can watch them and stop them from fighting or stop them from clawing the kennel. But when I'm gone and things are idle, I put them back in their kennel. So I just actually put them in the kennel so I can give y'all an example of what I did, and I'm gonna take them out. So, Joseph, here's your girl, Joseph. Hey, hold on, Mama. Hold on, Mama. There's your girl. Hey, sweet Mama. She's doing real good, man. Nice and healthy. Nice and healthy. Her ears are holding up great. She's doing real good, man. So this girl, I may be wrong. I believe Joseph is in New Jersey, or pretty close to New Jersey. Is that where it's at, uh, babe? Um, if it's not directly in New Jersey, it's pretty close. All right. Alex, this puppy is going to New York. Alex, look at this big boy, man. Think fat. This one also is did great. He's doing great. He's a very nice boy, man. He reminds me of Cuzzo and Hayes so much, y'all. I see it. It's Pablo. Is that his name? Pablo, yeah. Pablo? Pablo. I've been calling him Pablo for the longest. Pablo in California. This girl is going to Cali. Hey, huh? Full shot of her. Proud look. Look oh yes, yeah, proud. They all be having that little proud look. I love that look. Yep, I love that look. I love that confidence. All right, Mr. Greg. Now, Mr. Greg is in Baltimore. Come on. 
Yep, Baltimore, Maryland. Y'all, oh. y'all can see these puppies are ball fat, man. They're looking great. I'll be taking out the stitches tomorrow. So once I take out the stitches, their ears will really be at a stand up nice. As you see, we don't use no taping. We don't do none of that. We just let them naturally heal. I put some medicine on them the day after, but really like two days after. And then after that, I let them dry. Hey. Oh, you got so much to hey say. Hey, man. You. you know your daddy's going to be watching you. Huh? Oh, really? Hey, I'm going to let you out. Alex, I'm going to let you out. You got to talk her, Alex. All right. So this little girl, Miracle, is going to New Jersey as well. Man, it's a miracle, y'all. So, Miracle was actually, um, I'm not going to say dead, but she wasn't breathing when she was born. And Miss Brenda did mouth-to-mouth -mouth on her and brought her back. Um, and now she's a little firecracker. She's going to be extremely pocket, y'all. So, she'll be the keeper in Royal Kennels, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Oh, my sweet baby. She's nice, man. She's a real nice little girl. Oh. All right. So now, a Toro. Y'all see him on YouTube. Can I wave? He's, he's been commenting for a long time. Y'all, this dude is a tank, man. He's freaking huge. He was the first pick male. He went as the first pick. Come on out, buddy. He went as the first pick, and look at him, y'all. <laughs> can, can you wonder why? Like, look at him, bro. Like, dude looks like he's from a whole nother litter. Look at that. He's a freaking monster. You are a beast, dude. I mean, a straight up beast, y'all. So, Atoru, can I wave? There you go, brother. You've been asking for your update. So y'all, this is what I did to keep their stitches in, to keep them from fighting and scratching on each other's ears, y'all. I've had that, I've had it in the past to where puppies with fresh cropped ears, they're fighting in here. Matter of fact, Soleil, the first day her ears was done, Soleil's stitches came completely out and her ears was open wide. Um, I just let her heal. I let her heal and it healed perfectly fine, but it's kind of different when you're selling a dog, you know, and we sell these dogs all over the world. I don't want to send a dog to New York and have a customer have to worry about um, dealing with the ears once she gets there, you know, because the puppies were clawing at it. Yeah, they get infected. It happens. You know, nobody's perfect. This might not even stop an accident from happening, but you always want to do the best that you can to prevent to prevent anything you know from happening that's inside of your control so i feel like this was the best thing for me to do i still let them out they still play a lot you know you can see they're extremely healthy they don't eat inside their kennel they don't drink i really just want them to sleep when i come in here they bark at me like crazy but it's all good you know so I'm going to show you, because look, Mr. West, we ain't forgot about you, Mr. West. And y'all, one, one of my favorites actually came available. We had a buyer back out. Oh. Mr. West. Now, this puppy will be getting his, his ears done. It's your boy, Mr. West. Look, when you talk about proudful, man, yeah, look how look proudful. Proud. Just proud. Nose all up in the air. <laughs> proud dogs, man. Boy, you something else, bro. You something else, man. Look at the coat. Beautiful, shiny coat. He's going to be real pretty, y'all. That's why I told, I told Mr. West when he bought him. I was like, man, you know, he's just going to be a real pretty male. He's a pretty boy. 
Might want to name him Prince, Mr. West. <laughs> hey, little, my, little daddy. He got his for, name already. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, he, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn, right. All right, come here. Yo. <laughs> oh, yo. Look at this. I'm really proud of him. Man, look at that, y'all. Look at this runt. Beautiful. Y'all, this little dude came available, man. Look, look, the nose he's is gonna be, automatically yeah, dying He's going to be extremely pocket, y'all. The dude reminds me so much of Bushwick when Bushwick was a baby, bro. Man, this dude, he's something else. And ain't no big gift. Nobody catches him. Uh, my brother Tone in New Jersey was like, yo, bring him back. <laughs> so if, if nobody does purchase him, he will be going to New Jersey. As well. Hey, 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 hey. And you ain't gonna be teasing the other puppies. Well, that's what he's doing. Oh, you need some water. Right? I see they're out of water. Let me get them some water. They a little jealous. Yeah. I don't blame them. Man. I remember, look, I remember my days in the working cell block. And that's what it reminds me of. My days in the working cell block. If you let somebody else out of their cell and they roaming around and just eating and drinking like they want, doing their little thing, it make you a little jealous too. Might even get you beat up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, now what y'all doing? Y'all being good? Cool. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get uh, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a book in some water and, uh, and a little bit. Oh, y'all want to talk now? Oh, y'all got so much to say, don't y'all? Yeah. All right, there you go, big daddy. Come on, uh, little bit. Little man, let's go. Little runt, come on. Let's go, y'all. Good job, little runt. <laughs> well, you got a nice gait on you. <laughs> Go get some more, big guy. <laughs> Come on, run. Right there. Oh, come on, buddy. All right, I'll stay. All right. So now, I won't do it on this video, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take the crate that Oreo and the puppies are in. I'm gonna take that out. We're gonna cut a carpet. We're gonna give them a bigger space. Um, we're gonna let them kind of start walking around because y'all, they're getting big. You wanna get a little quick clip of them, babe? Take them out now, y'all. We're gonna take the pups out and we're gonna set up the carpet. They're gonna have the whole kennel now. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna get out, mama. You can get out. Nice and content. So we're gonna close out mama and I'm gonna get to work. How is that is the sun um on me? Alright y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and God bless y'all.